we're looking at here. These are the old satellite images, and you can see this nuclear plant. It's quite blurry. This is the newest quality. It's a high quality resolution with a different angle where we can see more of the 3D layout of the plant. Scott Portsline is taking us on a tour of U.S. nuclear power plants on the Internet, where high-resolution satellite imagery is conveniently linked with even higher-resolution aerial photography. It's a tour he's afraid terrorists are taking right now. What we're seeing here is a guard shack. This is a communications device for the nuclear plant. This particular building is the air intake for the control room. I look at this and just say, wow. How hard is it to find this image online? No, I found it in five minutes time. Some of the images are of the Three Mile Island nuclear plant, but officials there say much of their security is not visible, and they say they're not concerned. Our security programs are designed and tested to defend against a threat that has insider information, even more information than's available on the internet. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission says old, low-resolution images were not a concern, but it is reviewing the new, more detailed imagery. We are taking another look because the security of nuclear power plants is something we take very seriously. I looked at these. They, they were extraordinarily impressive. Terror expert Brian Jenkins does not believe Portsline or CNN is telling terrorists anything they don't already know. They have used online satellite imagery to plan the Mumbai attacks last November, for example. Although the nuclear industry has spent $2 billion improving security since 9-11, Jenkins believes the images of the plants should be blurred. Mystery is an important component of security. This takes away that uncertainty. If I were on the defending side, I certainly would not want to see anything that detailed available to, to anyone. Chemical plants, national monuments, all kinds of potential targets are also captured on satellite and aerial imagery and can be called up on a computer with just a few clicks of a mouse. And every case raises the question, how do you balance public information against security? Jean Meserve, CNN, Washington.